back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about how to make your home nice and cozy. So if you know me at all, cozy is probably like my main adjective I use to describe just about anything. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you mainly just different elements of what, in my opinion, I like to include into my home to make it feel nice and cozy. And this can go literally for any time of the year. Obviously, it's fall time at the moment, but you can literally do any of this all year round. But especially this time of the year, I feel like fall heading into winter, it's so important to make your home nice and cozy because we're indoors a little bit more and a lot of us work from home more nowadays. So I just think that really taking the time to make your space feel wholesome and warm and inviting is just so crucial and it helps me work better. It just makes me a generally more happy person you can hear my cat screaming in the background. Come here. It's like having kids, I swear. Anyway, so <laughs> grab yourself a cozy beverage. I have a little cup of coffee here. It is such a gloomy and rainy day. We have a tropical storm coming through today, so it is super rainy and very gloomy and the perfect day to film a how to make your space nice and cozy. So without further ado, grab a nice soft blanket and a cozy beverage and let's get into it. So I've broken up the video into three different categories. So we have lighting, textiles, and then just like decor items that you can add to make the space more cozy. So we're gonna start with, in my opinion, what's the most important is lighting. So I would definitely say that my first thing would be lamps, just because I think they're so crucial in adding an ambiance to a room. As you can see here, I have a lamp on both sides of our bed, but you could have one like in your living room or just wherever you're trying to cozify, <laughs> if that's even a word, I don't think it is. I think we just made it up. Someone document this. Just make sure that you're doing warmer light bulbs instead of like brighter, harsher light. I made that mistake before where I put daylight bulbs into our bedroom and it just lost like all of its coziness. I, I could see really well, I'll give you that, but like it just sitting in bed and just having like more white and bright lighting, it didn't help me relax and it kind of just almost kept me going, obviously because it's like daylight light light bulb so I just felt like I needed to be up and doing things versus like the warm lighting it's just so much more inviting and just subtle very soft and I love that and there definitely are times and places for the daylight bulbs like in bathrooms those are the best lighting for makeup definitely in a bedroom or even a living room I would say warmer light bulbs and lamps is key the second lighting element I would say is just completely taking it to the next level are string lights. We have string lights sprinkled all throughout our house and I would love to add even more. I just think that they're so fun and they just add so much to a space. They just create a mood and they just set a vibe I feel like you can't get with anything else. The spaces that have string lights are my absolute favorite. My third lighting element is candles. I am just recently starting to get obsessed with candles. We have three cats so I was just always afraid to like just have candles out because they get very mischievous. I'm looking at all of them now. They get very curious and I was just always afraid that they would knock them over but we supervise and we don't light candles unless we are watching but I just think that they create such a mood. It's a really great way to romanticize being in every room. So for instance like at my desk like I just don't want to sit at my desk sometimes but I'm more productive when I sit at my desk so if I light a candle and I have some string lights turned on next to it I'm way more likely to go work at my desk than I would be if I didn't have those things and I feel like it's an inexpensive way to add even more coziness and also make your home smell good I think smells can also make your house really cozy candles are a must <laughs> so the next category is textiles the first must-have in this category is layering blankets and pillows so we layer pillows pillows on our bed as you can see here and we also layer them on our couch with blankets. I have a blanket right here we leave on our bed too with um, one other one. It's dirty right now but <laughs> um, we layer blankets and pillows on our bed, our couch, um, our reading corner. I think it's just so nice to have pillows and blankets out in a very tasteful way where it doesn't feel messy but having it in a way where it's practical and it just makes the space feel so warm and just like home and if you're able to 
take pillows and blankets that have different textures. Mixing textures is just such a cozy thing to do. My second thing I would say for textiles are rugs. Rugs can seriously just completely change a room. We have all hardwoods in our apartment, so having rugs is just so nice because without the rugs, it's just so cold. It's very harsh. You don't want to walk on the floor because it feels like you're walking on an ice cube. It's just not a good time. So if you have nice rugs that have different textures and colors and just can anchor a space, I think it just makes all the difference. Almost separate the space, and I think that's a really good use of a rug too, is for one to anchor space and for two to like separate a space. My third thing I would say for textiles are curtains. So I've never really had like good curtains up until recently and I absolutely love them. They just add such a softness to the space and it just kind of like, I don't know, it kind of just pulls everything together and it's just something a little extra that's so simple but just makes such a big difference. Curtains that are just so nice and light and airy and can still let in a little bit of light but also give you like the vibe of just some lightness and whimsy. My last category are decor items. These are more so of like decor pieces that you can sprinkle throughout those bigger main pieces like rugs and lamps and curtains and pillows and stuff like that. First thing is books. Now books can just make a space so so cozy I feel like. Whenever you see books you think peaceful and quiet and reserved. Cuddling up with it and immersing yourself completely into it. There's just something so wholesome about that so books are definitely something that you could add to your space if you're wanting to add it to like shelves or just to your desk or your nightstand or a coffee table. The next item I would say are plants. Now plants are just a really great way to incorporate nature into your home. So we do have some fake plants and I think fake plants are really great too. Like they add the same kind of coziness. Obviously real plants are preferred but like I said I have cats and they like to eat and munch on things and get very curious. So I've stuck with fake plants for now. Hopefully one day we'll switch over gradually but at the moment, fake is the way to go for us. I feel like they just add so much life to a room and especially if you love nature, it's a way to incorporate that into your home and something to just take care of and nurture. And they're just a really great way to add color. Next thing I would say is to put on ambiances on YouTube. I love putting on a fireplace. During the fall, I love to find like witchy cottages with the leaves falling, creepy noises and stuff, just kind of like getting me in the mood and it just completely changes the atmosphere of the room. While you're studying, you could have like a coffee shop on there and feel like you're at a coffee shop with other people getting work done. And it just is something other than like just music or a podcast or if you're not feeling that, but you want to create an atmosphere, I feel like that's such a great and simple way to do that because you can just literally pull it up on your laptop, on your iPad, your TV. It's just a lot of different options where if you're just really wanting to set a vibe, there's an ambiance on YouTube for literally all of that. So the next item I would say is really nice to cozy fire your space is wall decor. I feel like wall decor just adds some character to a room and it just makes the room not feel so cold, you know? I don't like cluttery wall decor, but I feel like if you do it in a very tasteful manner, it can just add so much style and not make you feel like you're just in a plain white room with a candle, you know? It actually just makes it feel so much more homey and I feel like you just can't go wrong with wall decor. I mean, think about it. If you have a room that has literally nothing on the walls or barely anything versus a room that that has tastefully hung wall decor. It's just obviously the one with the wall decor is just so much more cozy and it just pulls in all the elements together where if you have a rug and you have plants and you have like all these other decor pieces, wall decor can just really pull it together. And the very last thing I would say, and we've done this and I just absolutely adore it, is if you're able to make your own cozy corner. I have just adored our reading corner so much and it just adds such a cozy element to our living room. You have like an awkward space in your, in your home or like an awkward corner and you don't know what to do with it, turn it into a cozy corner. Throw in some blankets, some pillows, and some string lights and it will completely completely transform your room. I mean, you could even throw in like a chair with a blanket or something. Like it doesn't have to be on the floor. Ours just is. All right, you guys, well that is going to conclude all of my cozy elements that I love to add to a space to completely transform it and create a vibe. I feel like all these are pretty feasible and you can do them with any decor style that you have any time of the year. I really hope that you got inspiration and I hope that it helped you out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!